Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the tech by your tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about bacterial identification methods from the sample till the report. Accurate and definitive microorganism identifications and pathogen detection is essential for correct disease diagnosis, treatment and trace back of disease outbreaks associated with microbial infections. Sample collection. Samples for microorganisms identification are important part. Some of the samples are normally sterile like CSF and blood. Some samples contain non-pathogenic organisms normally. Infections of pathogens causes change in the common cells level and the quantity of pathogens are very low that makes difficulty in isolation and identification. Example, sputum and stool samples. Some of the samples are rich in bacterial nutrition, makes common cells grow faster than the pathogens. Delay in sample process make more difficulty to identify the pathogens. Direct smear. Smear from the sample makes it easy to know the type of bacteria present or absent to select the media for isolation like urine sample. Also grade the quality of sample collection. Example, sputum samples. Type of stains. Simple stains. Using a single stains that can identify the presence of bacteria and the shape of bacteria but cannot differentiate different types of bacteria. Example, methylene blue stain is used for identification of pneumococcal meningitis in CSF. The capsule can be identified in stat samples. Differential stains. Gram stain is the preferred stain to differentiate the bacteria into gram positive and gram negative with the shape of cocci or bacilli. The arrangement of bacteria also gives important information for selecting the media for sample inoculation. Special stains. Special stains are used for identification of a particular bacteria present in the sample when expected. Albert stain is used when Carnibacterium diphtheriae is suspected from throat swab. Identification of metachromatic granules in Carnibacterium diphtheria suggests the presence in the stat samples. Zilnilsen stain. Zilnilsen stain is used for identification of Mycobacterium tuberculosis in routine sputum samples. CSF Zilnilsen stain can be done in stat samples if suspected. Negative stains. India ink or Negrosin are used for negative staining of bacteria as well as for cryptococcus neoformins in CSF samples. The shape and size of organisms are seen as color-free outline against the dark background. Fluorescent stains. Oramine and rhodamine are fluorochromes used for identification of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Calcofluor white is a non-specific fluorochrome used for identification of fungi including yeast cells, hypae and pseudo hypae. Special stains for flagella, spores and capsules are used for identification of microorganisms if required. Hanging drop method is used to identify the Vibrio cholera by their motility in stat stool samples. Culture media. Growth media or the culture media is a solid, semi-solid or liquid that supports the growth of population of microorganisms. Simple media. Simple media are used for the growth of non-fastidious microorganisms, example peptone water, nutrient broth. Selective media are used for the growth of only selective organisms. These media are used to suppress the growth of common cells and allow the growth of pathogenic microorganisms of interest. Example, Mekanki agar is from gram-negative bacteria. Bile salts present in the media suppress the growth of gram-positive organisms. Differential media allows one microorganism's type from another growing on the same medium. Media uses the biochemical characteristics of microorganisms growing in the presence of nutrients or inhibitors. Example, Mycanchi agar is differential for lactose fermentation, 
Neutral red present in the medium changes the lactose fermenting colonies to pink. Enriched media used for the growth of wide variety of organisms including fastidious microorganisms. Example is blood agar is enriched with whole blood that allows most of the common organisms to grow. Enrichment media to favor the growth of a particular microorganisms over others enriching a sample for a microorganisms of interest. Example, selenite broth is used to selectively isolate the salmonella species. Biochemical test. Used for identification of microorganisms by the presence or absence of enzymes and other biochemical characteristics of specific for microorganisms. Example, oxidase, catalase, sugar fermentation test. Antibiotic sensitivity testing is the measurement of the susceptibility of bacteria to antibiotics. Sensitivity testing helps the clinician for choice of antibiotic for treatment. Methods KB bar or stroke methods are commonly used in the lab. Quantitative method using minimum inhibitory concentration to describe the concentration of antibiotic to which a bacteria is sensitive. Modern microbiology methods for identification. Molecular technique have proven beneficial in overcoming some limitations of traditional phenotype procedures for the detection and characterization of bacterial phenotypes. Real-time PCR and microarrays are currently the most commonly employed molecular techniques. Real-time PCR is a promising tool for distinguishing specific sequence from a complex mixture of DNA and therefore is useful method rapid detection of low amount of pathogens in the sample. Microarray technique can analyze the expressions of many genes in a single reaction quickly and in an efficient manner. Thanks for watching. Watch my other videos. Please share, subscribe. Thank you.